So the long history is, over millions of years is basically uh, progressive drying of the climate. You know, I mentioned the rainforest trees three million years ago around uh, Lake George, when the rainfall was probably three times more than the present. So the present annual rainfall around Lake George is pretty similar to Canberra. So 650 millimetres a year or something. So three million years ago, it might have been 2,000 millimetres. But slowly over time, and this is related to changes in the in, in global climate as well, uh, the development of the Pleistocene ice ages and the, the growth uh, of ice caps or periodic growth and decay of ice caps around the world um, affects global climate uh, on time scales of hundreds of thousands of years to millions of years. And um, so it's well known indeed in other parts of Australia that there's been a progressive drying over the last several million years and, and we see that here. Um, as we come closer to the present and the uh, vegetation becomes much more like what it was uh, immediately prior, prior to Europeans arriving in this area, um, then we start to see, um, well, the common species. We see eucalyptus and, and we see casuarina pollen preserved in the sediments, whereas three million years ago uh, you're, you're getting pollen from trees that uh, 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 are more like trees uh, growing at the coast today, for example. The big picture is progressive drying of the landscape and it fits in with what's happening elsewhere in Australia.